Good evening, everybody. This was a, a very rich, insightful, thought-provoking uh, conference eh, for us. Eh? I, I hope that you, you appreciate it as, as we did. Um, together with um, uh, the other co-organizers, we want to offer some uh, wrap-up eh, from these two intense uh, days. Eh, as we mentioned yesterday, all the proceedings will be on the website of the, the ECB, will be available. Uh, now, as you recall, the conference was opened by a speech by Fabio Panetta, who discussed the challenges of calibrating monetary policy in a volatile environment, presenting central banks and other policymakers with complex economic and financial trade-offs. This was the main message of, uh, of uh, Mr. Panetta. We then had a, a first session about the role of collateral with two papers. So the first paper discussed evidence about the importance of the euro system securities lending facility for alleviating the scarcity of collateral in repo markets and enhancing bond market liquidity. Now, a key finding is that the level of the fees and the conditions are crucial for uh, the impact of this uh, facility. Now, in the second paper, um, the second paper examined the Eurosystem path toward harmonizing eligible collateral, which started in early 2007. It facilitated cross-border lending to borrowing constrained firms and increased financial integration and monetary union. Um, the events then, uh, um, the, the financial turmoil, the global financial crisis, the euro crisis and so forth, uh, um uh, kind of took away some of the the the, the steam from this uh, harmonization and so at the moment further exploration is needed eh, to look at the additional means for turning maybe loan securities into eligible uh, collateral uh now then we had uh the first of the two keynote speeches by marcin kaspersky who asked who engages in green research and development and how is corporate behavior affected by green technical progress? Marcin and his co-author find amongst others that around the world and in each sector, innovating companies with higher carbon emissions tend to engage more in brown research and development and less in green research and development. Second, Despite a consistent rise in the share of green research and development eh, over time, the effects of green innovations on subsequent carbon emissions, eh, which are assessed eh, in their sample, are small. Direct emissions, and this is the third point that we take, eh, direct emissions of green innovating companies are not significantly affected eh, by green innovation. According to us, this has chilling effects on the global warming debate and it's, these findings are a lightning bolt and wake up call for, uh, for all of us. So I'm sure this, uh, this uh, line of research will be dissected, uh, expanded or so in the coming uh, weeks, months and so forth. We then had the second uh, session on repo markets. So in the first paper, it was shown that access to safe assets can reduce the fragility and improve the lending behavior of financial intermediaries. In the case of the US, um, access to the Fed's overnight reverse repurchase attenuates investors' redemption incentives and allows money market mutual funds to maintain their lending to corporate borrowers. So an important finding. In the second paper uh, in this session, um, the factors um, for money market rates to remain below the DFR and still segmented were, were weighted. And it is important that we uh, understand better the motivation. Um, so the, the stress between banks access to the DFR facility to park excess liquidity versus the scarcity of securities in the market that is attributable to the um, uh, QE. 
Okay, then we came to the final session of yesterday. So the market participant panel, which featured a very lively discussion on the current state of money markets and their directions. A few uh, remarks, points uh, are, are worth uh, mentioning here. So there was agreement among panelists that market participants need to take first responsibility to manage risks and maintain adequate buffers in a completely new environment characterized by high and positive rates, inflation, additional regulatory requirements, high volatility, and less ample liquidity. Some panelists explain that markets need to rediscover how to price liquidity. Then, um, the panel could not conclude on what will be the minimum demand of reserves from the banking system to anchor short-term rates, but there was agreement that it will be probably above 1 trillion euros. Going forward, the panel agreed that despite large expected LTRO repayments, still this year collateral scarcity will persist, likely, and there were calls from the audience for the ECB to take additional measures, to consider additional measures, addressing some of the risks identified. Uh, this could include the reverse repo facility or the issuance of ECB short-term debt instrument. These were called from some of the, from the audience. Now, then came this morning, so the, the session on uh, central bank uh, tiering systems and cryptocurrencies. So in the first paper, uh, it was shown that uh, the, uh, the ECB tiering system for remunerating excess reserves holding helped to reduce money market fragmentation and enhanced overall uh, monetary policy transmission, incentivizing banks to increase lending. Now, the second paper, and especially the work of the discussant, uh, broadened our knowledge, or more precisely, what we still need to understand better, about developments in the field of digital payments and digital currencies with implication for financial innovations. Now, we know that uh, there was an interesting discussion about the game theoretic approach, the trade-offs and so forth, but we know also from the work of Ulrich Binsail and the colleagues in, uh, in DigiMIP that uh, these are uh, multifaceted markets in which you need to bring together um, critical masses of uh, users, uh, um, banks and uh, issuers, uh, settlers and so forth. So it's, it's a very complex uh, uh, micro and macro and financial uh, dimension to, to settle. In any case, this, uh, this was an ex excellent discussion in this, uh, in this uh, um, session. Then came the second keynote speech by Andrew Poser, who highlighted the challenges central banks face when dealing with the start of monetary policy normalization while facing episodes of sudden financial instability at the same time. Instability in uh, pockets, uh, segments of the financial market, uh, the non-bank financial uh, institutions. Uh, in, in which liquidity is urgent uh, and the, banks, the central bank does not want to deviate from its uh, uh, main policy objectives. Um, so, then um, came the session on uh, safe assets. So, so we had um, the paper of uh, Shohini Kundi uh, shows how large shocks to deposit concentrated areas amplify through banks, internal capital markets, and can generate aggregate fluctuations uh, and can explain up to 3.3% of uh, variation in economic growth. Now, the paper of uh, um, Shoini Kundu actually has important implications uh, in terms of analyzing the geographic concentration of bank deposits, eh? especially for European countries and across the euro area. Um, and so I, I will immediately, we, we should inquire if there are 
um, authors that are looking at these uh, dimensions uh, across uh, uh, European banks, uh, the, the, the risk of network cascades and so forth. Now, over and above this, uh, this type of research uh, by Shonikundo is rendered more acute by the steady climb in climate change related events, which are both acute and, and chronic. So I think this is a, was a very interesting um, um, presentation, very clear and uh, with a good discussion. So I hope there will be follow up uh, for us in, on this line of research. Now, to conclude, I would like to join the organizers of this uh, Money Market Conference for 2022, which are Sebastian Pool, sitting in front of me, Maria Encho, Stefano Corradin, Sebastian Weber, Anna Samarina, and Nina Willenberg. But we have also benefited from a lot of invisible hands. Uh, uh, so a big thank you goes also to Stefan Seitz, Justina First, and Anya Sinch from DG Communication, and everyone from TVN for the technical support. Now, really to finish, we hope to see you all at the next Money Market Conference 2023 or sooner. And that concludes the conference. Thank you very much.